Hey, hello guys. I'm here at Pearl Highland Shopping Center at a place that two people have uh, recommended. Uh, the first one was from Marthy L. And the other one was from Susan O. I believe they both suggested Pampanga Kitchen. There is also one in the Windward Mall, but that's a little far for me. So I came here to Pearl City. And if you're wondering where it is, it's in the little uh, food court, which is on the upstairs level near Ross and all those things like the movie theater and such. And it's really clean and spacious inside. It's got some nice eating tables and a variety of different places to eat. So um, we're gonna try it out. It's pretty much Filipino food. I got the um, first dish, which is pinak bet with some dinaguan. I got their fried rice. You get a choice of regular rice or their fried rice, which is pretty much like a garlic Filipino rice. And you can also half and half it. I got some pancit. Um, that she was really nice and said, if I wanted to try everything, you can do that. And uh, so let's dig in. I'm gonna try the pancit first. This is uh, pretty much, if you don't know, sauteed vegetables. Uh, usually they're cow peas or long beans. You've got some pumpkin. Uh, eggplant and such so mm. a really delicious soft sweet pumpkin I like the seasoning uh, usually they use fish sauce and it's very very um, savory got a lot of cow pea really good I really like pinak bet it's one of my favorite Filipino dishes this one's very authentic too because they do put bitter melon inside uh, so if you don't like that then it might be a little bit too strong for you but it's really healthy for you and the veggies are kind of on the i don't know how to explain it it's perfect it has a little bit of crunch but it's still kind of soft but not too mushy where it's like cooked to death Get a little bit of eggplant. I like the eggplant because it soaks up all the sauce in there. There's a lot of the juicy sauce in here. Mmm. Super tasty. And it's super good for you. Who would have known you can eat something super tasty and it's good for you? So let's try, to, try out this fried rice. Um, I really like Filipino garlic fried rice. Mmm. Very, very garlicky in a good way. I like garlic. Very, very flavorful. I would suggest getting this and trying it out rather than the regular white rice because it just goes so good with everything. All right, let's try the dinaguan. Um, looks like there's lots of chunks of meat in here. I'm not used to that. Uh, usually it's all the blood, but um, it's got some chopped onions and my favorite, some looks like serrano chili peppers in there. Gives it some good flavor. Mm. Very flavorful. It has a nice onion flavor to it and a little bit of that chili pepper spice. And all the chunks of meat in there are really soft and good. And if you don't know what dinaguan is, it's pretty much uh, animal blood. And at first I thought it was kind of gross, but that's without trying it. But it's actually really tasty and it's cooked, so it's not um, raw or anything weird, but it really tastes good with the meat that they stir it in. I highly recommend you try it and not be afraid of it, because once I tried it, it's pretty good. And I like the uh, peppers in there. I will say they're very, very um, generous with the chunks of meat in here, so um, it is worth it. It's not just um, little bits of meat, it's a lot of meat. Some people might not like it that some of the pieces are fatty, but I think you need that so that it's not dry. So there are some pieces that are quite fatty and gelatinous, but most of the meat I'm eating are pieces of pork that are lean meat. So it's really good. All right, let's try the pancit. It's got cabbage, it looks like, some slices of carrot in here, and it's pretty much a Filipino fried noodle. I like the crunch of the cabbage. It's not cooked till it's mushy. It has a, still has a crunch to it. The flavor of the noodles are good. The noodles are a little bit peppery, which I like. It gives something uh, like a different dimension to it rather than um, just a, another starch. 
it's got a slight kick from the pepper, the black pepper. And I see, I think it's seasoned really, really well. I'm glad she let me half and half it because um, you get the best of both worlds. For the Dinaguan and Pinak Bet plate, that is $13.95 and the Ponset and the fried rice also come with it. What I like about it is you can get the fried rice and it is not an upgrade. It is just one of the choices. So it's the same price if you get regular rice or the garlic fried rice. All right, moving on to the next plate, I got their uh, other combination plate, which is garlic shrimp and some lechon kawali. Again, she let me half half the pancit and I got regular rice this time in this plate. So they put the lechon kawali uh, tomatoes and onions in the sauce in a separate container. So I'll pour it onto the pork. Okay, I'm excited because I really, really want to try this out. Um, I love lechon kawali, as you know but I like that there's a choice of shrimp with it because I like me some garlic shrimp. So let's take a taste of this massive plate. Nice pieces, kind of medium sized. There is a lot of garlic on top of it. So that's a good sign. It's got kind of an orange hue. So I don't know what that is, maybe paprika. So let's take a bite into it. Pretty good, but very interesting it's kind of has a sweet note to it which i didn't expect but a pretty good flavor but not your typical garlic shrimp that you think about when you go to like giovanni's or something because of that sweetness the shrimp is cooked perfect it's not overcooked so it's not tough super good all right let's dive into this lechon kamali which is the uh, fried roasted it's kind of like a roasted pork that's fried I don't know what I'm talking about but they fry it so that is why the skin is crispy it's one of my favorite things I love it with the sauce mmm the pork itself has really good flavor I love the onions with it the crunch of the onions really pairs with it but I'm not getting much sauce it was very minimal sauce in the cup with the tomatoes. So it's a little bit, you know, not dry, but it's not as saucy. Some pieces have um, that crispy skin. Mmm. Uh, it's definitely crispy. Not sure if you can hear that crunch. Love that part of the lechon. There are some fatty pieces in here, but you're gonna expect it. I mean, it's made out of pork belly. So if you're not into fatty items, then you might not like this, but I like it because it has a contrast of the crunchy skin, the lean meat, and the soft fatty parts. And with the seasonings, it, you can't go wrong, it's delicious. And again, not to repeat, but you get the rice and the pancit, which I've already tried, very delicious. They have tons of combo meals listed on their menu um, so you can't go wrong if you don't like a certain thing they have another combo with something else so like for example if you don't like dinaguan with your lechon kuali you can get the shrimp you can get the panak bet you can get different things and it's just mix and match so it's good that you don't have to stick to just one filipino dish and then you get the split pancit with the fried rice or your regular rice so i think these plate lunches are a great deal and it lets you kind of broaden your horizon if you enjoy some Filipino food, but you kind of want to try a different dish you were too scared to get. And I think all of it so far was very, very tasty. Um, and the service was super friendly, so how can you go wrong? For the garlic shrimp and lechon kawali plate, that was $14.95. All right, so I just wanted to mention just for Marthy L, I don't know why, but I do get your comments through my email from YouTube, but it doesn't post to YouTube. So I have no clue. I went into my little settings and looked for the ones that are held for review. It's not even in there. So I'm not ignoring you or anything. Um, I tried to reply, but it just goes back to YouTube when I hit it in the email and it disappears again. So I am not sure some of your comments do disappear and I've had some problems with other people's comments as well. So I'm not sure it's not that I'm ignoring you. I appreciate your kind comment. Um, and your suggestion for this place, you and Susan, that, this is great. Very, very good food. Um, so we're gonna do our last dish. I 
got some cascaron, which is a Filipino dessert. They're like little mochi balls. I wanted to get these at the Waialua um, general store, but I went there too early and they didn't make them yet. So I saw them here and I needed to get some. Over here though, it's very unique. They have coconut or taro. So I got the coconut, or did I get taro? I forget. She suggested something and I um, just went with the flow. So let's take a ball off the stick. It's uh, about four dough balls on it and they put it on a little stick and then you take it off the stick and eat each one. And if you're wondering what cascarón is, it's pretty much a Filipino mochi ball, if you want to compare to that. And around it is a sugar glaze. So um, I'm going to try to open it. It's very gelatinous. So this is what it looks like. All the sugar is crumbling off it, but here it is. That's what it looks like. So um, of course, it is a taro one because it's purple inside. Let's take a bite. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That took a long time to chew. It's very, very gelatinous, like a very, very sticky mochi, which is delicious. It almost reminds me of a little bit of a different version of Chinese gao. I really enjoy it. And it does have a hint of a very, very faint taro taste. Um, the outer coating of sugar seems to be brown sugar instead of white because it's got that caramelization type taste but i think it goes really good with it and i think that's what reminds me of gao that brown caramel sugar taste with the sticky ooey gooey mochi and it kind of sticks to the roof of your mouth so it's really hard to talk and swallow it while reviewing but very delicious if you like mochi or um, any of those sticky rice desserts this is for you and it's got a good amount of sweetness. I wouldn't say it's too sweet. There is a lot of sugar around it, but the inside is not sugared. So it does have a perfect balance when you bite into it. And you know, as you're chewing, you get the outer coating of the crystallized sugar and the insides, just the soft, um, chewy rice. So for the price for the cascarone, uh, the taro, it is 380 I believe it's 325 it's cheaper if you get the coconut version but I believe when I was talking to her she did mention there are coconut flakes in there that she thought and I don't really like coconut flakes I like the coconut flavor but not the flakes so I went with the taro all right so that's my review showcase of Pampanga kitchen don't forget if you're on the windward side you can go there at windward mall as well they have a location there um, so parking here is really, really easy. There's tons of parking. I'm here on a weekend and there's lots of parking right in front of the food court here on the top uh, deck of Pearl Highlands. Thanks to Susan and Marthy for suggesting this place. It is absolutely delicious and I think it's really, really good for uh, Filipino fast food. If you think about it, it is fast food. And um, I got my food pretty quick considering all the things I ordered. The girl up front was super friendly and the place is clean. What more can you ask for? So until another food adventure, press the like button if you like this. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next week. Peace out. Take care, everybody, and stay safe.